this is the beauty of living in the Pennines. It's fucking freezing. So we need something to warm our cockles, don't we? Well, I'll tell you what, that is a lot better. Not much warmer because I'm a tight bastard and I won't put the heating on. But today, steak and onions. But not just any steak and onions. Today, I'm using rump steak, but it's not any old rump steak. It's, wait for it, wait for it, buffalo. Yeah, you heard. Buffalo. My slow cooker is on high. I've got two cloves of pickled garlics in there as well. So I'll just get that warmed up. First thing we're gonna do, get the bag. Same old, same old. I'm gonna season these steaks before we do it, right? And I've lost me, I've lost my flower. Oh, there it is. Old bride. Old bride bag of shit, right? Not too much. That'll do, because we only wanna coat these steaks. I don't wanna monkey make a cake, do I? Pepper from James Bain. Yeah, there we go. Sea salt. And just for added bit of spice. You know what I mean? I don't know. Can you see that? Splash of Coleman's mustard powder. Get it in. Proper British. Proper Northern. Right, let's give that a shake up before I put my steaks in. Back. Well, that's my buffalo steaks coated. You see? So we'll uh, we'll get these seared off, shall we? Yes, I think so. Well, I've got the pan on. I've gone in the cupboard and realised I've got no fucking oil. So uh, we'll cut this short just for a little while while I nip to the shop and get some. You dozy bastard. Right, I've quickly nipped to the shop because I'm a dozy cunt, right? Got me uh, got some sunflower oil, Florida. Supposed to be uh, with vitamin E. Fuck knows what that does for you. I don't know, I'll look it up and then not tell you. Uh, and I, I've been sent as well by Thank Queen Louise to get some fuel. How the fuck she drinks that, I don't know, it tastes like fucking shit. Fucking shine a light. Fucking shine a light. Now I've regrouped myself, yeah? First thing do, get some oil in this pan. For these steaks. It's sunflower oil, it's good for you. So let's get lashings in there. Eh? Right, we'll wait for this to uh, wait for this to eat up and then we'll throw the steaks in. Right, these steaks are massive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two at a time. So we're not overfilling the pan. Right, what a bit more sizzle on that, but hey, never mind. Next time you see these, they go in it crock pot. Well, that's them seared off absolutely beautifully. Yeah. Get a bit slow cooker. <whistles> Next job. Just throw a slab of butter in. Now that butter's melted. Onions and carrots in. Just want to sweat these down for a bit, you know. More salt. More James Bean. I need to fill this up by the uh, way. 
and because we love garlic in this house some garlic granules this effectively will be the base and the taste base for my buffalo steak and onions but I'll sweat these off and then I'll throw them in the crock pot as well last the buffalo steak now the veggies get my veggies in butter, oil, everything I'm going to move around a bit here eh? get them dispersed and next job is my beef stock now I want my beef stock to just cover my veggies whoop splashed it now my beef stock today ladies and gentlemen right is here we are, whoop, these motherfuckers bovril now very northern Connor Cook, Graham Scott, you southern pansies are just not going to fucking understand are you and before anyone else says fuck all as well, right? I've got here, I get them out of the fucking jar. A bay leaf. Now, apparently, crack it, throw it in. Lid on, and then uh, we'll uh, see what transpires, eh? Right, have you noticed there's no beer in my hand yet? Well, that's because it's morning. It's only 11am, right? I'm going to smash that in there, it's on high power. We're going to do it for Four hours, yeah, four hours, and then we'll check it, yeah? We'll say, well, it's over here, so we'll see what happens with it. So, uh, roll on three o'clock, uh, we should, should know where we're going from there. So we'll see you in uh, four hours. Yeah, four hours. Well, that's been three hours. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> I've been dying for that all fucking day. <clears throat> right, should we jump down here and have a look in this crock pot? There it is. Lid off. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Tell you what, there's a bit of fat on there. I'll take that off before I dish it up. But... <laughs> ah, ah, fucking hell. Right. I've got some mash to do, so let's crack on with that. Right, I'm going to sit my steak and onions on a creamy bed of buttery mash. Right, all I need is my uh, is my potato peeler. Right, where is it? Right, here it is. What the fuck? Oh, fucking magic. Now, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I do, right? Bit of salt in the water. I don't know what it does, but yeah, but it's in. Lid on. Wait for these to ball, we'll mash him, we'll plate it up, and then we'll see what fucking dog shit we've got today. Right, mash time. I've trained these bastards. First thing first, butter. Heinz mayonnaise. Get a good dollop of that in as well. And a bit of cow. And you've got to get it all over the top. You just have, haven't you? That's it. Right. Let's mash these motherfuckers. Fucking done. Right, I think it's time to plate this piece of dog shit together. The plate is down. Get the mash on. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that looks fuck. That is fabulous. Just, just square so I get them there. <laughs> right, that's all. Next thing to do now, I just want to make sure I get a good lump of steak with this. Don't forget now, this is buffalo. Not, not just ordinary beef. It's buffalo, and it's an, It is really, really, really tough. So now I said four hours at the beginning of this, and it's uh, I checked it at three. I'm doing the spuds and everything else, it's been in for three hours and forty-five minutes, and that's the end product. Now it don't look much from up there, but I tell you what, we'll come down and we'll have a proper look at it. Buffalo steak and onions. 
Look at that. Really simple. Buffalo Sun Place is not that cheap. But I did get that quite cheap, so uh, we'll go with it. Look at that. Just falling apart. See if we can get some of it on. Oh, 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 it's red hot this. Mm. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, that's fucking fabulous. Oh, it's burning my esophagus. Oh. Cheers. Mm. Well, that's me buffalo steak and onions. Now, that was fucking easy. The, the, the hardest part was for me was waiting. I, I'm fucking impatient, mate. Honestly, I can't wait for the fucking pot noodle to boil. I stick the water in, I'm fucking, uh, fucking, fucking hot, red hot, fucking, fucking crispy, fucking noodle sticking down my chin. That's how impatient I am. But hey, it was worth it because that that does taste fantastic. And as you can see there, it just fell apart, and you really, really got to cut the fuck out. Both won't do that. Now I did use a rump of buffalo, not not like a top side or a, a top rump or anything like that, or a silver side. I did use an actual rump. Mm. But I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a few days, you know what I mean? I'm normally uploading every day or other, every other day, and it's been like four, nearly five days since I uploaded the last video or so. But uh, I have been rough as fuck. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I have been rough. And at one point, I thought I was going to fucking check out. But hey, I'm back and I'm fucking ready. I did a beer for three fucking days. So, anyway, <clears throat> there we have it. Got a new feature coming, right? And this is not on YouTube. This is on my Facebook page. Chris the Butcher and Friends on Facebook, right? I'll leave a dis the link in the description down here. Or the show more bar, as they call it, right? Click on that. Like the page. Because there is some bonus stuff going on there that doesn't go on YouTube. Because me and Chad are going to make sure of that. But this new feature is, right? I'm also going to leave a link to my f email... And uh, hopefully, I haven't had permission off Chad yet, so as soon as I do, it will flick up there. It might not be there when you look at it, but his email as well. But when you look at it again, it might be. Right? I want to, I want, what I want from you guys is, I want a little video from yourselves, for you cooking your tea and see how it looks out, how it looks, or pictures, or anything like that. And what we'll do is, on my Facebook page every week, we'll do a viewer's tea of the week. Yes! And, uh, you know, you'll get a mention. You'll get on my Facebook page there. You'll get a mention on my YouTube channel as well. So, uh, that's it, basically. This is uh, running up to 15 minutes long, this video. So, uh, I think we'll cut it right here, right now. So, if you like that, please press like, comment, and subscribe. And become a member of Hashtag Team CTB with all us happy family. <laughs>